Let's focus uh, on the deal street trends coming in and how the m and as well as private equity action is picking up. And let me welcome on the show Raja Lahiri, who is the partner at Grant Thornton Bharat, who joins us. Uh, Raja, always a pleasure to welcome you on CNBC TV 18. And your firm has collated the data for the quarter gone by for this calendar year. Of course, we have seen a slight bit of slowdown when it comes uh, to the overall um, deal action and the transactions. Private equity has has uh, seen a dampener, while m and has seen some pickup. Get us a sense of the trends that you have picked up. Yeah, no, I think you pretty much, uh, first of all, thank you very, very much for calling, Nisha. Always a pleasure. Uh, see, overall, if you look at it, as you rightly said, there is a dip in the, in the uh, deals values. Uh, quarter three, which is uh, July, August, September, we saw $13.5 billion of deals. If you look at the entire nine months of this year, we saw $36 billion of deals. But overall, a couple of things. One is we've seen a dip of around 68% in terms of value terms, close to 40% in terms of volume terms. So first of all, if you just compare with last year, there is definitely a dip in, in the deal values. Uh, while saying that, I think two, three key trends, I think one, from an M&A perspective, is largely domestic consolidation. So we are seeing fewer action on the outbound side and as well the inbound side. There are lots of deal ideas, deal um, activity getting generated, but we're not seeing deal closures. So first is domestic action, uh, domestic action in various sectors, renewables, clean energy, healthcare, pharma, fintech, mm. right? That's the domestic consolidation story. On the yes. private equity venture capital side, if you go and look at it, it's still very healthy. It's, it's not that it's a, in my view, uh, yeah, I mean, there is slowdown, but it's not, I don't believe it's a funding winter, right? There is enough capital yes. to be deployed, but what's changing is one is buyouts. Increased number yes. of buyouts, tech sector, healthcare sector. We've seen the Warburg recent announcement on the Everise deal. Uh, we looked at the Temasek Manipal transaction as well. Uh, yes. And on the venture capital side, largely on profitable models. That's where the money is flowing through. That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, Raja, the healthcare and the hospital sector, at least three transactions are live as we speak. So there's a lot of action in that particular space. But uh, we've seen a slight bit of uh, pickup in the cross-border transactions after a very long time. Give us a sense on that and what's spurring it and what's the pipeline looking like? Yes, yeah, Nisha, on the cross-border side, <clears throat> typically when you see the outbound, for example, has been largely led by IT. Right, there's lots of IT which is looked at outbound transactions. We are actually seeing a very different pivot of the tech sector, right? So they are not looking at the traditional tech services deals that we were uh, seeing maybe a year, year and a half back. What we are seeing is caution on the tech side, but what we are what they are looking at it is cloud, Gen AI. Um, uh, the consulting side of digital transformation, those are the kind of pockets that we are seeing. The second what is interesting trend is we are seeing a definitely a good outbound action from certain markets. I think very clearly US leads the way, second by Japan. In fact, Japan, we are seeing some very interesting uh, interest in sectors like renewable, clean energy, infrastructure, road assets, etc. So, So I would say, Overall, cross-border is, is, is continues to be a little muted, uh, but clearly actions in certain sectors are, are good at this point of time. That's right. And Raja, of course, private equity was uh, very, very busy uh, in uh, cashing out because of uh, the market valuations. And now that there is a fair bit of volatility, that seems to have now stopped. But on the other hand, the private equity uh, space is also not jumping in for an opportunity to buy uh, just yet. How is that scenario picking up? And in terms of valuation, uh, you know, volatility, how do you see that going and impacting the deal trend? Yeah, it means I think the private equity, I think very, very focused on the predictable cash flows, right? So if it's any sector where you have predictable cash flows, there is visibility of that, there is huge interest, number one, across sectors. So, 
So specialty chemicals to uh, REITs, in REITs, uh, to tech services, outsourcing companies, predictable cash flows, huge interest, uh, buyouts, majority, minority, etc. So that's one. So predictable cash flows, important. Second is certain sectors that we are seeing, at least I view, uh, to watch out for is the fintech space, right? Private equity backed consolidation. We already saw an interesting deal in the rapid pay you kind of uh, very large transaction, 600 plus million dollar transaction. Prosus private equity sure. got exited through that transaction. And uh, we also saw Kedara actually uh, kind of investing a significant amount of money in a SaaS fintech business. So, so yes. watch out for fintech and SaaS uh, is, is the trend that I'm picking up. Watch out for fintech and SaaS. You said that's as one trend. Uh, give us a little more color on is it more consolidation and P action and any other uh, trend that you see and foresee for the next quarter or the present quarter that we are seeing the deal activity in? Uh, no, I think the other part, if you look at it, uh, the IPO market, right? We haven't talked about the IPO market. Overall IPO market, uh, 31 IPOs so far, uh, $3.2 billion of capital raised. And we're just kind of seeing the shoots of rising trend in the IPOs. Uh, so I would definitely see that we talked about the exits from the private equity side. I think there will be good funded companies hitting the market. There is a full, full lineup of IPOs that are waiting in the next quarter. And I see that clearly picking up, subject to obviously the volatility continues to be very high macro, right, globally. Um, and then let's be honest about the elections also coming in next year. Uh, but, but watch out for the IPOs because we could see some interesting exits and IPOs taking place in the next quarter. All right, very, very important takeaways. And yes, IPO season looks uh, back and some of the exits by private equity needs to be watched out for. But of course, the macroeconomic concerns, they impact the volatility as well as the valuations we need to watch out for. Thanks so much, Raja Lairi, for all your takeaways for the deal stream.